we are here for probably the final time with Lorna. That's kind of weird. Um, let, let's actually start off with the wave. I think we all know what's going on now, but for everybody who's been watching you for four years, can you tell them what that's all about? I just like to wave to my parents, my grandparents. They enjoy it. So there you go. Hi to the Miller family. They're all watching out there. Now, we're about a, a week removed from the NCAA tournament. Um, I guess just first, obviously the match didn't go the way you guys wanted it to, but your impressions from the tournament. Um, well, I mean, just making the tournament is an awesome experience, and um, I think it's, uh, I think just one year of experience last year wasn't enough to get us prepared for this year, and I, um, I hope that next year they have, you know, more, they're more comfortable and have more experience. And we're also, we we're still kind of young, you know, we still had, even though we had six um, seniors, we still had, you know, a few freshmen and sophomores playing with us too, so. All right. Now that was the second year in a row, as you just mentioned. Uh, anything different you noticed the second time around? Did you get get a chance to see anything that you didn't the first time around? Was it the experience any different, or was it really just kind of the same? Um, no, it was the it was pretty much the same. I think this year it was more um, exciting for us because we knew what was coming, and um, just everything you know, getting to see all the other teams, watching the other games. It's great volleyball. Um, so yeah, I'd say this year was more exciting just because we knew what was coming. All right. Um, before we talk about you and the seniors a little bit, you mentioned that the, that the team is still young, and they are very young. What do you see for the future of the program? Um, well, I know they have a few freshmen coming in next year that are supposed to be really good and um, bigger than we are this year. Um, we're kind of a short team compared to everyone else. So um, I see, you know, next year I think it's going to be tough for them because they're going to be young, but they also have a lot of experience on the team. So. I see good things coming their way. Okay. I'm going to talk to you about yourself very quickly here in a minute. But we've also got Katie Jackson here. She's off to the side. You can't see her on camera. But we're going to talk to her very, very shortly, too. Um, you guys, you're both four years, four year starters. You've really kind of seen the program grow from where it was when you got here to where it is now, uh, two times straight in the NCAA tournament and the Northeast 10 tournament. Just before we talk about you, talk a little bit about Katie and what she's meant to the program. Um, well, a lot. She means a lot to me, too. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without her, but, um, I don't know. I think, uh, just coming in, we talk about this all the time, like, coming in our freshman and sophomore year, those were just, I don't want to say terrible, but they weren't good years for the program, and, um, I don't really think we realized it until these past two years when we've been so successful, but, um, I think Katie has been, like, more of a quiet leader. She's, um, not as vocal as some of the other ones, say Tosh on the court, um, but Katie is, has a very important role in the team, and um, she is one of the leaders, and I don't think our team could have done it without her. All right, now let's turn the attention to you. You've hauled in a whole bunch of hardware over the last mm -hmm. couple of weeks. Uh, Northeast 10 Cola Barrow of the Year, and all East Region selection. Um, what, is, what does that mean to you personally? Um, it was really rewarding to myself just to um, know, like I know and I think my teammates know how hard I've worked for everything, but just to know that everyone else, you know, in the region, in the conference know that I really have worked this hard and um, that my team really works this hard because I couldn't have done that without my team. Perfect. Um, well, let's talk about your career as a whole. Kind of a long road for you. You came here actually as an outside hitter your freshman year, then took over as libero. How, how compare, I guess, your freshman year to your senior year. How have you grown? How has the program grown? Um, so long ago. <laughs> That's uh, the point. <laughs> yeah. Um, my freshman year was um, kind of a blur because there was such like a difference in the team. You know, we had the five freshmen and then we had, you know, grad students and seniors and there was, I don't want to say there was a division, but there kind of was. So that was kind of all of us freshmen had to lean on each other with, we only had one sophomore, Kylie. Um, so we all leaned on each other. And now I think coming in this year, um, you know, it's, we don't just lean on the seniors for each other. We lean on everyone for support. I think we're more of a team now than we were my freshman year. All right, I'm gonna ask the same question about you yourself, personal growth over four years. Oh, uh, personal growth. Um, <laughs> I think I've grown a lot. I've learned a lot. Um, I have become a better person from it, and um, hopefully I think it's prepared me for the real world a little bit because it's not only a sport, it's, it teaches you a lot of life, life lessons. All right, and then lastly, before I let you go, just kind of sum up your time here. What, what do you take away 
as you're getting set to move out into the rest of the world, or maybe some favorite memories from volleyball here? Um, well, uh, I think uh, my favorite memory is definitely um, last year, my junior year, um, beating Adelphi and Pace here at home. They were both very good, and um, so were we. So, um, I think what I'm going to take away from the, this program and Franklin Pierce is just great friendships, um, great memories, great people that I've met here. It's such a wonderful community to be a part of, um, and I know I'll have lifelong friends. There you go. That's Senior Libero Laura Miller.